to VRLA. We just ran into one of the VR pioneers here. This is Luis Flores. I want to say hi. How are you doing today? Hey, everybody. How are you doing today? Uh, so Luis has been really pioneering a lot of kind of do-it-your-own uh, camera solutions. When everybody was going GoPro, you started switching to Z-Cam. Okay, we'll go with that. And you were doing Reds long before anyone yeah, else was? I started off with Reds. Tell me a little bit of your journey. A little bit of my journey. Wow, where do you want me to begin? It's been a long journey. All right, let's start up when you started actually tackling immersive video, fully spherical 360. Fully spherical 360. I was lucky to have a great friend come up and come up with the challenge of doing 360 spherical video by a guy named Tomasi Tran. He owns Hype VR and he's had a very successful discovery in making some technology. It was uh, through Ted Shilowitz that said, you guys might be interested in this, so we started doing that. I'm guessing it's been four or five years now. I don't even know the time frame wow. anymore. Wow! Wow! Um, I got to try out some first Oculus stuff, kind of early, early stuff. That it was like this backpack, and we were in this theater, and then uh, <laughs> it was all animation back then. And we were, and, and Tanas was like, "We have to do this." And I was like, "Yeah, you're right. We have to do this." And it was, it was really hard. It was really, really hard to figure out how this works with dragons because we come from. Uh, from a high resolution, high density, high frame rate background. Yeah, yeah. Working Hollywood and television and network and stuff. And we we're like, that's our clientele. That's who we want to do. That's who we want to go for. Absolutely. And Tanasi was a brainchild behind that. So he really, he really blew that up. Now, back then, we didn't have any of the tools. Nothing. There was nothing back then. That you like have now. No, so there was nothing like when that. you were tackling things like stitching, which is easy to do now in some ways. Again, Tanasi Tran was smart enough to, he went up to, the company is now called Weaver, I think. But Weaver was oh, one of okay. the first yeah. companies that we uh, loosely partnered with to, we will provide high-end content. We were shooting Dallas Cowboys and Floyd Mayweather Jr. You guys stitch it for us. And it got to the point where we had to figure it out on our own, hence the discovery with Tanasi's now developed Hype VR. So that's 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 the ch tough journey of how that went. Wow. Um, fortunately, um, uh, we got involved with Video Stitch. It did not work for Mac uh, graphics cards back the graphics card I'm used to. Yeah. So yeah. I went Auto Pano, and um, I paid a heap of money to get trained on Auto Pano, and and that's where it went. So that's awesome. That's that's the the crappy journey I went through. So you really are in a lot of ways whether you meant to be or not, a VR camera expert. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would be okay with that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind, what, what would be your favorite systems to shoot with currently? Well, so, so, so I, I'm a red guy. I've been dealing with red cameras, some of those advanced cameras from the get-go of when they broke into the revolution of 4K. That world has become so comfortable for me that Dealing with other cameras and and the Aria Alexa for those fans out there, that's that's one of the most incredible cameras out anywhere with the dynamic range. Yeah. However, the red worked for VR because of its compact size, its abundance of resolution, and its wide latitude spectrum, and be able to sync and control it all. It just worked for my clients. Yeah. These these post houses are more accustomed and and just their pipelines used to having DPX. Yeah. or raw data or TIFF files. And those are my friends, fortunately, that I deal with now. And I always felt somebody's got to cater them. Somebody's got to, the GoPro thing was taken off. And I do the GoPro, th I did, I don't do it anymore. I did the GoPro thing. I did the GoPro thing for its simplicity and its affordability and stuff like that. But I got burned. Yeah. I'm sure a couple of, I, 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 I ruined a couple of very important shots and I had to step away from that. So I needed a more professional, dependable, Solution. Yeah. So that's the the dragon stuff is 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 what I love doing, but it's serious challenges. So now, oh, like yeah. what you're using as a Z cam, this company has been the most aggressively forward thinking company, and I own a bunch of I I own a <laughs> lot of Z cam gear. How many Z cams? This Z cam. Just so you know, this camera that we're shooting on is the Z cam, and it has existed for four months now. Yeah. How many of them do you own? I. <laughs> A lot. Uh, <laughs> I've gone through a lot of them. The E1 was my favorite camera for some time. So I've probably gone through 60 E1s at this point. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I have friends that are DPs and directors, and they just they, they get tired of renting it, and they just buy it from me. Wow. So I've sold several rigs and built custom rigs for people that are using it in who knows where. 
and um, it's a very rough experience because I got to support a system that's still developing. Yes. But but Kinson has been a, a gem. This dude's a bad man in the proper positive <laughs> sense. I don't want him to hear that and think he's a bad man. No, he's he's a think of a uh, good. Um, but yeah, so so um, I have uh, a pair of S ones. Nice. A uh, pair of uh, S one Pros. Nice. And. Uh, ton of dragons and um i still have like 50 gopros i need to dump i think we're all gonna be finding gopros, GoPros in the, yeah, the couch yeah. cushions in like you know let me flip years. this on you because you have been if you for those of you that don't know one he's a good looking dude and i'm straight but he's just a good looking dude and he's killing it so um for those of you that don't know this rig mm. do people yeah. know how simple you have figured out an all-in-one unit that travels anywhere with you. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing? Uh, sure. And why? Oh, and why? Why? That's why is important? Great question. Why is important, right? Well, what we are finding is, like you, everything that is being done properly in VR is high-end. Yeah. And you have to really expect that there's going to be a good money behind the production, there's going to be good quality, and you're using true, regular film industry yeah. equipment. So what we have created, working with people like Z Camera, which I highly agree, Kinson Liu and his whole team are yeah, just the team, killing. Yeah, Jason's just kicking kick, kick ass. Exactly, yeah. and Teradek, Teradek working with yeah. different Yeah, they're uh, coming to, to a new level, yeah. And then working with people like you on Facebook. I'm lucky. Now, I know a number of you people that are watching this right now uh, are also part of the Facebook groups, but really this is where the VR industry has flourished. Wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook has been an interesting asset to the whole entire explosion of this. Absolutely. Hence, didn't they buy a company, a VR company? Yeah, yeah, huh, huh. yeah, yeah. They yeah, might yeah, have some yeah. interest. Yeah, they're kind but, of but yeah, I mean, we're, we're seeing the equipment get better. We've got wireless systems. Yeah. They can go miles at this point. This one will go 1.5 miles, <laughs> actually, uh, that we've tested uh, from this thing is gorgeous. line of sight. So really, it's it's like you working with content creators, finding reasons to create new technological solutions, yeah. to drive new content creation. It's all part of kind of this huge circle of media that we're starting to, to really see flourish here at 360. Right well, hey, I just want to ask real quick yeah. before before yeah. we go, yeah. is there anything you want to tease coming up? We're going to release this before NAB. Very excited to get oh, that out. Oh, you know what? I just got lucky to be a part of something in this organ project that I just did. It's actually phenomenal. And I can't talk about... Oh, damn. Okay, okay. On the 20th of, of April, I tease. believe on the 20th of April, there's an incredible VR job done by an incredible director out of Utah. I'm not even joking. This guy's company is called We Like Small. You guys should check it out. He's making a very... And I've done a lot of VR stuff, I think. I wish I could... You know what? It's just funny and incredibly cool. All right. Uh, it's one of the most incredible ways that I've seen to make, and Oregon's a beautiful state. I've never been there. Wow. Um, yeah, we we get to show Oregon off pretty well. So that's we are small. We like small. We like small. We like small. We like small. The we the like small. Company. And it will be coming out on 420. On <laughs> Go figure. Dude, is this what I? Get? I think it is coming out on 420. It's an app. I believe it's an app. <laughs> um, they took my company 361 VR to to shoot this entire thing, and they're doing all the posts. Their team is hella solid, man. That's awesome. Yeah. You know what? Shout out to Salt Lake City. All my jobs have been coming from that incredible location. I don't know <laughs> what you guys are drinking in Utah and Salt Lake, but you guys are impressive. For all of you guys that have been hiring me from Salt Lake City, I appreciate it. Man, you guys are kicking everybody's butt. Awesome. Well, hey, there's a lot more to see here at VR LA. We want to say thank you again to Lewis Flores with 361VR.com. 361VR. Uh, yeah, dot com. And awesome. then uh, and I got the Dallas Cowboys coming up to do their virtual out of this year, so hopefully that comes out soon. Woo! Big yeah. things coming from Lewis. We want to say Cowboys. thank you hey, again, thanks, sir. Man. This is awesome, man. And thank then stick around. around. We're going to show you some more stuff real soon. Have fun.